welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another video. I have been absent for a few weeks or so, but I'm going to be talking about what I've been getting up to over the past month later on in this video. For now, the focus of this video is going to be spilling some of that university tea on what can only be described as three momentous years at Cambridge University. Since I'm no longer an undergraduate there, I have graduated, I have left Cambridge, my time at Cambridge has now passed. I'm going to talk about those three momentous years, talk about the studies, the friends I've met, the opportunities that I've had, the highs, the lows, the ups and downs, and everything in between. It has been an extraordinary past three years. In a way, half of my degree was pre-COVID and half of my degree was during COVID. But just to put COVID to one side uh, for the time being, I remember not really wanting to apply to Cambridge. Uh, I thought someone like me getting in, no way, that would never happen. But after looking around in the summer of 2017, looking around the various universities, looking around Cambridge and the different colleges, I thought, mm, okay, I'm not, I don't think I'll get in, but I'll apply nonetheless. And obviously I did get in, um, which you know, I did not expect. Uh, I had applied to Christ College originally, but then I was went to, to Homerton. But, and I remember being nervous in the run up to start in university. It was going to be a new opportunity, which I was excited about, but I was also a bit nervous about because it, it was a new experience. And I was also moving. I was moving from Sunderland, my home, to Cambridge. I was really about making friends. So I had all of these worries. And then I think it took a while. I remember maybe it took about even a term to get fully adjusted to this, you know, Cambridge life. Once I met people, once I started to make some friends, once I got familiar with my environment, I felt more at ease about it and felt more relaxed with it. In terms of my studies, so I chose to do law. I had been interested in law since doing an A-level and I wanted to look at it a bit further. I was thinking about a career in law. The studies at law have been interesting, if not uh, a little bit tiresome at times, because there's a lot of reading when it comes to law. And I mean a lot. Quite often you would have for a supervision, which for those who don't know, are small group discussions that you would have, uh, normally about two to four people with a supervisor, and you would discuss a topic that's been in the lectures recently. You go explore in detail, look at the cases and the key principles and analysing those cases and analysing those principles. But sometimes the reading for the supervisions could be a lot. It had been tiresome at times and it did all sometimes feel like there was just too much. But I still enjoyed the modules. I enjoyed all the ones I did. Some more than others, I'll admit. Uh, but I did enjoy them. My favourites probably had to be constitutional law in first year, administrative law in second year and human rights law in third year. It's a bit of a theme there in terms of uh, the modules I enjoyed the most, but I really enjoyed looking at, so constitutional law, you look at principles like parliamentary sovereignty, you might have heard of the two Miller cases uh, that were in the Supreme Court, so you look at those cases. Administrative law is, is something like judicial review, and human rights range, you know, the right to life, um, the right to respect for private and family life. Cases were interesting, but also, depending on the modules that you uh, looked at, you might be looking at uh, what's been happening in society, so in international law, you might be thinking about the international politics side of it and how that might have be a relevant context to a particular case that was decided. Uh, obviously, if you look at constitutional law, you're very much keeping it uh, to the news and looking at what's been happening uh, with Brexit. I was when I was doing constitutional law, everything was happening with regards to Brexit, and that obviously continued into uh, second year doing EU law, looking at studying EU law in third year. Law is a very fascinating subject, and there is a lot of reading, as I said. And sometimes doing those essays and poem questions, you just don't understand what to do, or you're not sure how to answer it. But I did enjoy it, uh, and I think my enjoyment of the subject surpassed any ill feeling or any sense of like tiredness about it. I very much enjoyed studying law and you know obviously studying law has meant I've had opportunities to for example do mooting. Uh, I've mentioned on this channel a few times various mooting competitions that I did. So I did a human rights law mooting competition last year which I came out as the winner of. I've also done some moves outside of Cambridge. I did some uh, online uh, especially during that first lockdown last year and they're great because you get to develop the skills that are needed uh, for the bar 
So, you know, public speaking, you know, oral communication, written communication, being organized, things like that. Studying law has been really good, not just in terms of what I've learned, but also the opportunities that I've had from it as well. And the supervisions were good. Obviously each supervisor had their own way of doing the supervisions. So some like to ask you questions, some had questions obviously prepared on the supervision sheet to go through. Some would discuss a problem question or an essay question. So each one had their different style, different approach. Uh, and I enjoyed them. The supervisions are really good because if there was a concept I wasn't sure about, I could get it clarified. If there was something I wanted to ask about and explore more detail, we could explore that in detail. So supervisions were a really good opportunity to kind of go through things in more detail, more so than you might also be able to do in a lecture. But my time at Cambridge wasn't limited to studies. I was able to do things that weren't related to my studies. One of the things was the Cambridge Union, so I got involved with that. I think in my second term at Cambridge, so that would be in Lent 2019. And then since then, I was, I did, I was head of events management one term, so managing the different events, the speaker events, the debates, the panels. I was video editor, so I was responsible for the YouTube channel. I was on the president's committee and I was able to invite a speaker to speak at one of the debates that we were having. And so I've had different roles through my time at Cambridge, at the Cambridge Union, and I've loved each one. Like each term has been unique, you know, I've had unique different speakers, different people to work with, but it has been really good fun because we obviously have met, been able to meet great people. I've met Ellie Gordon, I've met Lady Hale, uh, Laura Newberger, all of these extraordinary people that I've met and probably thought I would never meet. Uh, I was able to meet by being at Kim's Union, by going to these events, but also I was able to make some really good friends at the Cambridge Union. I think it was my college mum, uh, so the way at uh, Cambridge is that you have college parents who are normally in the year above, but I believe it was my uh, college mum that was got me into the Cambridge Union because she was uh, volunteering there and I've loved my time there. I miss it because I miss being involved and going to these events and obviously I'm not there anymore. That doesn't mean I'm not going to visit every now and then, especially if there's a really good speaker there. But my time at the Cambridge Union has been really good and I'm grateful to everyone, like every president that I've been and everyone I got to work with, you know, it's just been amazing. But like I said, I was able to make good friends from it as well. And speaking of friends, I have met some great, great people while I've been at Cambridge. I I would probably consider myself an introvert, so I don't always find it easy to make friends or socialise with people, be able to start a conversation, but I was able to meet and become friends with some great people. So I've mentioned them on my channel before, like my college wife Martha and my friend Hannah, but also people like Henry and Astrid and others who I've met, uh, whether that be at college or through the Cambridge Union or through them studying the same subject as me or just through an event that I went to. Um, so I went to a YouTuber's formal, a uh, so YouTuber's formal back in, I think it would have been a couple of years ago now, that was organised by Paige, who you might recognise um, that name from. Through that, I went to another event that was organised by Astrid and then through that event, I got to know Henry and now obviously we're best friends and as I'll talk about later we're now flatmates so you know extraordinary that through this channel that I've I've met and become great friends with great uh, people it hasn't always been easy I'll admit that I think there have been there definitely have been times where I felt a bit lonely where I felt a bit uh, excluded and I'll be honest with, with that and uh, hasn't always been easy but uh, I'm glad I've had a core group of friends at least that I can rely on and depend on and I've also had great memories of other people that I've met. I've met a lot of people through Coolis or the Liberal Association, we've had various events on and always good fun with them. They are, you know, they are, they are a great bunch and they were certainly really helpful for me during that first lockdown when there wasn't a lot going on, when we're all at home. They made sure to put on all of these virtual events, uh, virtual social events, and they did help me keep going, especially during that uh, first lockdown. So lots of things have happened, lots of opportunities I've had, things that I thought would never happen did happen, things that uh, thought would go one way happened another way. Like I said, it hasn't always been easy. There have been some very down moments, so I think I've talked about on this channel around about the time of the first lockdown 
and I was feeling very down, very stressed about with what how term had been going because there was a lot going on, and I was, and then coronavirus just added to that, and just all my all my stresses and everything just came out all at once. So it hasn't always been easy. I think one of the things I've learned during my time at university is how important it is to look after my mental health a lot more than I really thought about uh, before. But also, I think my time at university has taught me a lot about myself. I, don't, I certainly think I'm not the same person now than I was when I first started uni. Like, so much has happened in the past three years to develop who I am. You know, not just about the skills I've gained or the knowledge I've got, but about understanding who I am. Uh, I'm still working that out a little bit, um, but I've certainly changed and I've certainly uh, developed based on the experiences that I've had, things that I've learned about myself, uh, that I've discovered about myself, some things which I haven't disclosed on the channel yet, but I will when I'm ready to. I'm not quite ready yet, but uh, when I want to, I will try and share it with you all. It's just been an extraordinary mentis, you know, any other big word you want to use uh, to describe the past three years. And I'm sure many of you are, have just either graduated or you're about to do your next year of your degree or you are about to go to university uh, and you're probably feel worried or anxious or excited or a mixture of all those uh, emotions about university and I think my advice is to enjoy it. It's so important just to enjoy it. Uh, it might not always be easy uh, but if you, you know, if you keep going and you take each day as it comes and you just enjoy the moment, you can have some great memories there. There'll be bad days, perhaps there will be, but there'll also be some really good days as well. But also my other advice would be to take advantage of the opportunities out there. I didn't always take advantage of some of the opportunities, which I do regret a little bit now. Um, so make sure you do take advantage of those opportunities, whether that be something that might help with your career aspirations or opportunities to meet new people, even if it's not easy, even if you're a bit of an introvert, trying to meet a, at least that one, person that could become a really good friend and a source of support uh, later on uh, when you might need it. So just go out and enjoy it. And if you're not going to university, absolutely fine. You know, there are different ways of doing things now, there are different avenues you can go and you just got to take advantage of those opportunities. You know, university isn't the answer for everyone. Um, so each person is different. You've got to decide what's right for you, what you think is going to help you the most. If you're thinking of what university you want to go to, um, obviously I'm going to advertise Cambridge, but that's up to you as well. I definitely recommend if you can visit in Cambridge, because I think you can only really know which university you want to go to by visiting uh, the university and just seeing what it's like, seeing if, you know, if that feeling's there. It's, it's a bit hard to describe what that feeling is, but if you're know, just having that feeling like, yeah, I could study here, or yeah, this could work. I like the place. I like the the vibe that I'm getting from it. So do come and uh, visit. Uh, and obviously, if you've got any questions about Cambridge, do put them in the comment section below, and I'll try and answer them because I want to try and help out. If you want to know more about my time at university, you can check out all of the videos and all of the vlogs that are on my channel. All the things I'm getting up to. Go back to the very beginning and then come all the way to the present and see the various things that I got up to. Now I'm just going to give you a bit of an update about what I've been getting up to for the past month or so. For those who've been with my channel for a little while, you might remember a vlog where I was in London for the day. And the reason I was in London was I was with my friend Henry to look at a property that we were thinking of because we were both thinking of moving into a new place in London together and we looked at this place and we pretty much fell in love with it. It's reserved it for us pretty much straight away and that's where I am now. Um, I've, I moved in last month so I've been here for just over a month and it's a very nice place. Uh, it's in Camden Water, uh, near, near the Thames, and there's a lovely walk you can go on. You're right by the Thames, you're only five minute walk or so from the Thames. It's a lovely place. The reason why I'm in London is because from the, the end of this month, early September, I will be starting the Bar Course LLM at BPP. And uh, that's the next stage in terms of the career route towards becoming a barrister. I've been doing that for a year. I've already got some of the books that I will need for the upcoming year and well funny enough there's going to be a lot more reading to come uh, but I'm sure it'll be interesting I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it 
and I'm sure we're going to hopefully meet some new people, meet some new friends. I've already met a few people, well, a few people from Cambridge that are now living in London, but I've also met a few new people as well. And I'm looking forward to it. A little nervous, maybe, because obviously, you know, I'm no longer Cambridge, it's a new chapter in my life, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Um, I'll try and get some videos out, um, hopefully over the next couple of weeks or so. I'll try and do some vlogs about my time um, with the bar course and other things. So just watch this space for those. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to do the usual things like liking the video, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, why haven't you? Come on, there's all these videos and vlogs. Come on, subscribe to the channel, share the video, let other people know about it. Follow me on all my social medias, which are in the description below. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.